yo what's good kahana we have a website update video slash um this will also be a tutorial or a troubleshooting kind of video for anyone that is having issue like accessing the content because it's usually the same workaround from the emails that i have gotten in the past it's usually the same fix all the time you know so i'm just gonna say it in the video so that i get less emails you know but um we here how to use the website you type in that's okay.com, right? And it's going to take you right here to the home page. On the home page, we've got three different sections. On the, on the mobile phone, it'll look slightly different. On the phone, you'll have like these, like you see these little three lines right here? There'll be like three lines, but here on the, on the purple. And you click that and then it'll give you a drop down menu with these three options. And that's how you can see these three. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure. And, um these are the tiers that we have it tells you what you got over there you come down here sophomore junior senior graduate right i want to explain the tiers because again it says it right here if you guys do you want to know what you get per tier that's what's there and um in order to access the students only content the students only section is where all the content is right so when you click on students only it takes you to this page and then you have a soloist, which is mainly for IU. Honestly, you feel me? Like it's mainly IU content in there. And then you got the girl group content, the boy group content, the survival shows, Netflix and that, which is um named poorly. <laughs> this really should just be K-dramas because that's all we really do here for real. You know, K-dramas, albums, and then seniors plus, which is like the, the senior content. You feel me? For the senior tier. And that is essentially how the website works. I think it's pretty straightforward, none too crazy. You feel me? Like, make sure you guys have an account. When you do join the website, this is like troubleshooting number one, right? The, the main issue I think most people have is they might buy a subscription or like might buy a tier before making an account. I, I think in my head, I thought that I made it impossible to buy without an account, but that doesn't seem to be the case because it just, the emails that I've gotten, I'm like, yo, how did you even purchase without an account? But um, it, it happens. So make sure you guys have an account before you do buy. Now, if you do happen to buy without an account, you can still make an account and it'll remember your subscription, your, like your, your purchase. Just make sure the email address associated with your purchase is the same email address that you make your account with. This happened, I would say, mostly for people with Apple Pay. People that paid using Apple Pay. Because this, I think I got the most emails from Apple Pay um, users, right? So whatever your Apple ID is, whatever your email is, if you make an account with the same email address as your Apple ID, you will then have access to the content. Like the, the website will remember the email address. So even if you don't have an account now, if you buy it and then you make an account with the same email address, you'll still be able to see the content that you purchased. You feel me? And um, you get a full month from the day that you purchase. So if you purchase a website subscription today, you have a full month from today, which is the 6th as I film this, you will have that until the 6th of July, essentially, right? You, you get a full month from whenever you buy. And these are all the different payment payment methods down here. You got Amex, Apple Pay. I don't know what this is. <laughs> if it be Google Pay, MasterCard, PayPal, Osaka, I believe. No, Shop Pay. Okay, Shop Pay, mm -hmm. Union Pay, and Visa. So um, you should have. I think everybody should have a way to pay because I know it's with Patreon initially. When I made my Patreon, people were telling me that they couldn't um, access the Patreon because they didn't have the payment method in their country. But you should have one of those, I feel, you know? So like, if you do want to be part of the website, you now can, essentially, you feel me? Now, I think in terms of troubleshooting, that's the main issue that I've seen. I think most of the emails that I got was just people asking me why they paid, but they weren't able to see. and. It usually was they didn't have an account, you know, but now, you know, make an account, please. When you sign up to the website, make an account. That's the first thing you should do. 
But if you somehow forget to make an account, whatever email address was associated with your payment, just make an account with that email address and you will still have access to the content. Because if you don't, when you click on the students only section and then you click on, you'll see this, right? This content is protected, blah, blah, blah. Um, also, some people will have an account, but the, the thing that tags customers on the website, like the back end, some, sometimes takes time to like add the tag to your name. So like you might have to wait five minutes to actually have access for some people. Sometimes, sometimes it works immediately. Sometimes it's a little slow. I don't know why, but I might try to experiment with different, um, <clears throat> with a different app to see if it works better um, for y'all, you know, so it's just more immediate, more consistently, but you should be able to access the content for the most part. You feel me? Now, ups, uh, website changes. We will be alternating the tiers. Right now, we've got four tiers. we got the sophomore tier, junior tier, senior tier, graduate. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have one base tier which is the junior tier currently, right? But the junior tier is gonna be split up into three different tiers, right? We're gonna have a, an artist tier, which is gonna be called Artist Koha, right? As y'all know, we are now called Kohana. Y'all see this little like rotating Kohana symbol? Kohana is now the family name. It's like Ohana. Ohana means family from Lilo and Stitch, you know, um, with the K in front, like K-Fam, K-Family, but Kohana. It's going to be, what was I saying? <laughs> it's going to be um, Artist Koha, which is essentially like the K-pop area. You know, we also have XG and XG aren't really K-pop. So that's why I'm calling it the Artist um, Koha now, because just in case we do do other artists that aren't um, K-pop, just to um, put that out there. But the Artist Koha section will be all the reality shows, the albums, survival shows, um, variety content, all that content, any artist related content. Like if I do like a documentary type thing or like a, like vlog content or like whatever, all that content will be in the artist Koha section, right? So when you go to the students only section, instead of it being like this, like you see how there's a sophomore area, there'll be an artist, artist Koha area, right? Next area will be a K-drama area, right? And that's where you get all the K-drama content. Within the K-drama section, I mean, there'll, there'll be just K-dramas, but for some K-dramas, you'll find them in both the artist and the K-drama section, just because in some K-dramas, we watch for like a specific idol like for snowdrop we watch snowdrop because gc was in it so um there might be some overlaps like if you do pay for the k-drama one no if you do pay for the artist section you might still see some k-dramas if an idol is in the k-drama you know but like that's the only overlap there would be really for that and then there'll be an anime koha section so we have the artists koha k-drama koha anime koha right those are the three different sections we'll have An anime will just be the animes um because we do a lot more of that content i think initially when i made the website if i look like down here like even this with this video it literally says four times a week like four new pieces of content a week these days these days i post like 20 <laughs> you know like i post a lot more these days than i was back then like a lot more honestly so um that's why i've also decided to make this little update because there's a lot more content that we do and there's a lot more variety you know initially we weren't doing as much anime or as much k drama as we do now so that's why there's now different sections for each one because i know some people are just here for the k dramas and then some people are just here for the k-pop and then you know so if you just want one of those and you don't want everything you got those sections but if you do want everything, there'll be another tier called the All Rounder Koha, which is essentially you get all three of those for the for the one price. You feel me? And then there'll be an Ace Koha tier, which is you get all of the non K related content. 
such as Moon Knight, like the Marvel series, or you, the Netflix series about that stalker dude, you know, like we, we've been doing like non Korean related content. Um and all that will be on the, the ace koha tier, as well as like any um explicit any content with more explicit scenes in there you feel me like the, the more grown stuff where i'm like all right kids shouldn't be watching this for real you know but um <clears throat> the uncensored kind of you know <laughs> that stuff will also be in the ace cohort here as well as a recent seven which is essentially gonna be the most re seven recent pieces of content that i've posted to the website will be in that section just so you know, like, okay, this is the last thing he posted, which I've done a poor job at um, keeping updated. But when I do make the change, I'll guarantee, I promise I will keep it updated every week, every day, because we post daily, basically, you know. Um, <clears throat> and then there'll be a VIP tier, which will be the same as this. Just basically you get all of the, the ace tier but you also get twitch vip um <clears throat> and those will be the different tiers you feel me so now instead of it being the four that we have we'll have the anime koha k drama koha artist koha ace koha and then vip well all rounder koha ace koha and then vip koha and those are new tiers um I'm gonna make that change like a month and a bit from now just because like I said earlier if you like let's say you you join the website today you have a month from now until to, to like you have an exact month from now until next month essentially right you get the full month so if I made the change tomorrow you only got a day you know so it's like I gotta tell y'all a month in advance always um I'm going to say July 10th, July 10th, the, the official change will take place. <clears throat> you feel me? Um, there will also be, all the tiers will be a few dollars extra as well, because like I said, we post a lot more content these days than I used to. I literally used to post four times a week to now posting 20 plus times a week. So, you know, I had to up that. And because we, we've grown the way we've grown, you know, I appreciate all the support. But I, I now have to pay more money um, to keep the, the subscriptions up, essentially, you know. So I had to make a little increase in the the pricing of the tiers. But it won't be, it won't break your bank. <laughs> I promise you that much, you feel me? I'm going to still try to keep it as cheap as possible for real. But it would be like a few dollars extra for each tier. You know, that is all in terms of the website. I think that's all I wanted to to say for real. I might also try to make like some some visual changes to make the website look prettier in some sort of way. You know, I've, I've also been thinking about making a a calendar section because currently I post like the weekly schedule on my community posts on YouTube. But I figured it, it'll probably be easy if I had like a, a calendar section within the menu here. And then y'all can just click on the calendars, the calendar section, and it'll show you what we're doing for that week. Um, I'll see how I run that exactly, though. In my head, I'm thinking I could probably like y'all see the way I have these images for each section, right? I could make it in a way where it's like I have Monday and then I'll have the, the images for the, the content that's being posted. So if you do want to like, let's say it was like Monday, this is a K-drama, you can click on it and it'll take you to the K-drama. You feel me? Versus you having to go to the students only section and then have to having to find your way to the K-drama itself, you know? But um, we'll see. We'll see how that works, but that is an idea that I had. If y'all have any other ideas or anything that you're like, yo, it would be cool if the website had this or this feature or blah, blah, blah. Whatever y'all think would make the website a better experience for y'all, let me know. Um, I'm going to try getting, getting back to emailing y'all. You feel me? I'm going to try to email y'all once a week. 
If not, though, I feel like having the calendar section will probably be easier. So, like, I don't have to remember to email just because the calendar section is there and it can be updated um, every week. And so if y'all do want to see, oh, what's on the website this week, even for those that aren't paying, if you're not paying, I'll make the calendar section still available so you can still see at least what's being posted that week, you know? But yeah, I think that's all I wanted to say for real. But I didn't think this video was going to be this long. <laughs> 15 minutes is crazy, bro. But um, yeah, that is it. So again, July 10th is when the official changes will be made for the website. But I'll make the tiers available, I think, like starting next week. I just need to make like the little web pages and stuff and then make sure that everything is um tagged correctly for real and so if your membership if your um, subscription ends in the next week or so and you want to change the new tier the new layout earlier you'll be able to do that you feel me but um in terms of the old tiers y'all will have a month and a bit a month and a few days until that ch change takes place you feel me so um make sure y'all cancel your memberships um yeah, but before July 10th, before July 10th, next week, I'll have the new tiers there. I might try to have it up this week, you know, I'll do it as quickly as possible. So anyone that is trying to change ahead of time can change. But um, y'all have a month and a bit, you know, love y'all, appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for all the web support so far. You know, it was kind of scary going from patreon to like starting the, the website for real and the support that i've received has been amazing you feel me and i appreciate each one of you for trusting me and believing in me you feel me um it was rough initially you know because you kind of have to figure out how to do the coding and stuff yourself and i'm like i have no coding knowledge <laughs> i have no coding information for real so like how do i do this but you know it's basic coding but it's like you know it's a little it's my brain don't work like this for real but we got there you know we got there bro we had some issues on the way but like we here now that's all that matters but um yeah i don't know how to end this video for i'm just chatting now <laughs> all right love y'all appreciate y'all take care of yourselves more content on the way um until then bro ah! <laughs>